Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, 40 days have passed since we celebrated the joyful feast of the Nativity of the Lord. Today is the blessed day when Jesus was presented in the temple by Mary and Joseph. Outwardly, he was fulfilling the law, but in reality, he was coming to meet his believing people. Prompted by the Spirit, Simeon and Anne came to the temple, enlightened by the same Spirit. They acknowledged the Lord and confessed Him with exaltation. Let us, as we gather together in the Spirit, proceed to know the house of God and encounter Christ in our life. Here we shall find Him. Here we will recognize Him in the breaking of the bread until he comes again, revealed in his glory. Let us pray. O God, source and origin of all light, who on this day showed to the just man Simeon the light for revelation to the Gentiles, we humbly ask that in answer to your people's prayers, we, you may be pleased to sanctify with your blessing these candles, which we are eager to carry in praise of your name, so that, treading the path of virtue, we may reach that light which never fails, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd ask you to hold up your candles so they too may be blessed.
and with hearts of joy, let us proclaim in the glory, the Gloria with our hearts open to the light of Christ. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple in the substance of your flesh, so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, finding them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord as in the days of the old, as in years gone by. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Please join in singing our psalm response found in your gather book number 37. We will sing the second refrain.
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is the devil, and free those who through, through fear of death had been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God, to expiate the sins of the people, because he himself was tested through what he suffered. He is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days were completed for their purification, according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dedict in the law of the Lord. Now, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen the salvation which you prepared in the sight of all peoples, a light for the revelation to the Gentiles, a glory for your people Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. All these candles that we bless today represent all the candles we will use in the coming year. We have the Paschal candle that is not set yet and used at the Easter Vigil, but it is here and it is blessed. We have all the candles that we will use throughout the year here before the altar being blessed. But we also have Jesus statues, and they are wrapped by handmade little outfits. This is a wonderful Hispanic tradition that on this day, 
of the presentation of the Lord, you would bring your binos to church and you place them up upon the altar so that when they are blessed, when the candles are blessed, these two are blessed. And the reason and the tradition that it is happening is that when you hold it, just by nature, you hold it gently. Just by nature, you pull it in by instinct into you, don't you? Because you don't want to drop it. You nurture it, don't you? No matter what the size. This is even, you have to be even more careful because they're glass, aren't they? And when Simeon saw the baby Jesus, he took him into his arms. And in that moment of knowing Jesus, he dreamt a prayer of hope. Not only for the people of that time, but for all of us. Because the presentation of the Lord is that first time that Jesus goes out to his people. The shepherds came to Jesus, didn't he, when he was in the, his, the nativity? The three kings came to Jesus, didn't they? But the presentation of the Lord is Jesus going to his people in the arms of Mary to pre be presented to his people, to be one with his people. And just as Simeon held him in his arms, we are called to hold Christ in our hearts. To hold Christ in our hearts always. And the reason we use candles is because a candle needs oxygen. A candle burns itself out being a light and helping us. A candle, when it is lit, uses itself up to bring light to the world. And Jesus gave him his very self, holding nothing back as he hung on the cross to give us his light. Not just once, but forever. And when we go to see God face to face, we will enter in to the brightness of His glory that no candle can match. He, we will enter in to the brightness of God's love that no candle can match. We will enter in to the wonder of God. But until that happens, each of us carry the light of Christ within us. And we carry it everywhere we go. And in our school, we are blessed that each of us can share our story our relationship with Jesus because of our Catholic Church and our school. And we have been blessed to be able to share the light of Christ with one another, not having to be afraid, but always knowing that we're here for each other and Christ is with us. We are blessed to have a wonderful school, a wonderful school of faith, a wonderful school as the body of Christ.
Let us stand and bring our needs before the goodness of the Lord. For Pope Francis, Archbishop Thompson, and Father Bill, that the Holy Spirit may guide them as they lead the Catholic Church, and that they may always follow the example of Christ Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, that the power of the Holy Spirit might grant them the wisdom to always seek justice and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all, mili- for all the military men and women, may they feel the presence of the Holy Spirit as they continue to keep us safe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our students and their families, that they might experience the blessings, love, and graces poured out to them by God the Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here today, may we listen for God's voice in our lives and follow our vocations to love all as we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who have gone from this life to the next, may you keep them in your loving care. And at this Mass, we pray in a special way for Amy Tucker. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, you are always reaching out to us, your people, with Christ, the light of the world. Open our hearts with your Spirit, that we might not only know the light of Christ, that he dwells within us, but may we share that light with the world around us. May we give of ourselves that others may know Christ. We ask this and all our needs through Jesus Christ, our Lord. As we prepare our gifts for the altar, please join in singing from your spirit and songbook number 61, The Lord is My Light, number 61 in your spirit and song, also found on your song sheets.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our God and all God's church. May the offering made with exaltation by your church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray. For you will that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the light of the world as the Lamb without blemish, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed the Spirit as the glory of Israel and the light of all nations. And so we too go forth rejoicing to encounter our salvation, and with the angels and saints praise you, and without end we acclaim. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, death O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, 
his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with the elect, especially with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis our Pope and Charles our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, O mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please join in singing our communion hymn, number 112, in your spirit and song, Go Light Your World, number 112, in the spirit and song, also found on your song sheets.